welcome to Tattered Stitch Embroideries. Today we have a super fun tutorial for you, edge to edge quilt blocks, and it's being presented by Dee Frama. For the purpose of this video, I will use my eight by eight hoop for my Genome 500E. Um, if you're doing quilting that has a front and back, I suggest using a magnetic hoop, whereas that would be much easier for those with arthritic hands. And it's much easier to press down rather than having to continually press the material, the hoop over the material and force it into its um, backing hoop. So once this is tied on, I then put the batting and the material over top where the edge to edge will likely start in this area and continue to the right. I have allowed it for the edge to edge to continue by using enough stabilizer to continue with the edge to edge. What I'm going to do here is try to align where this is by marking it with a pencil crayon. I do not have a heat resistant pen, so I'm using a pencil crayon. And what I'm going to do is just make a little notch right there to allow myself to know that that's where the needle needs to start and continue on with the secondary part of the edge to edge. What I've done here is I've recessed the hoop uh, onto the stabilizer and the material in into the hoop and what I'm going to do is um, not tighten the nut yet. I'm going to continue and try and get the needle to be in the right position. Okay so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to attempt to um, find the proper positioning um, for where I have the little cross made of where my start position should be. So I'm going to start, but it doesn't mean it's going to start. <laughs> As you see, um, I'm not in the right position. So what I do is I'm going to lift up foot and pull the material and stabilizer a little bit more to my right. Okay, so what I've done is I've moved the material um, to the left and I'm going to go this way, but moving the needle up and down, you can see that it's fairly close there. So, this is where we're going to start. So as you can see, it's it connected there fairly well. It'll stitch out the rest of the design and then I'm done. If by chance you're doing quilting, I suggest that you use the same color thread, both top and bottom. This way, it'll give the even flow of both sides. As well, if you're doing a project that requires this type of edge-to-edge -edge quilting, what I recommend is that you start in the middle, and then do the top, and then the bottom. But do the middle all the way across, and then the top, and then the bottom. For this purpose only, I'm only stitching it out twice to simply show edge to edge stitching and the process of doing so. Now that the design is finished to the point of illustration, um, I would like to show you here um, where the start stop is and how it's pretty doggone close. The last stitch of the thread came out for me, but it's because I pulled on it. 
However, um, the edge to edge, use your needle up and down up the dial on the side of the machine to allow yourself to get as close to the cross part as you as you can. If you do not have a um, heat resistant pen, I recommend you get one. I need to get one. Um, but if doing quilting, don't forget magnetic hoop is the best. It saves on arthritic hands. And um, if doing it this way, stabilizer and the batting as well. So thanks so much for stopping by today and watching our latest video release.